Hi, Candace. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing just fine. How about you? Doing well, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. You bet. So can you tell us about the recent survey? What were some of the results? Yeah, you know, uh, Thompson's Water Seal in this survey, we, we talk to people about their outdoor spaces all the time. Um, but this survey was a little different. We asked people how they felt about their spaces and got some kind of surprising answers. One was that 57% of the people that Thompson's talked to said that their deck, their outdoor space, was one of the most important parts of their home. Um, and that's surprising considering all the different parts of our home, that people would rank the deck so high. But also 62% of the people then said they feel better after having spent time outdoors on their deck. So, you know, we see that there's like a dividend in terms of the investment of, of having an outdoor space when you buy and sell your home, but, but there's also that dividend of, of well-being that we get that you know, maybe we don't always think of. Does it cost a lot to create an outdoor oasis, and what are the basics that you need to do so? Right. Well, you know, it doesn't have to cost a lot. You certainly can spend a lot of money, as you can with any home improvement project. But in the case of our deck that we have here, this is my house in southeastern Ohio, this is a completely, it's a do-it-yourself project. And I like to tell people that they have a lot of things at their disposal in order to keep the project um, under budget, as it were. So they have their brain, they have their aesthetic senses, their eyes and ears, and then they have their brawn, their DIY sort of spirit. So in using your brain, you want to design your outdoor space so that it suits your needs. You don't want to build an enormous square or rectangular deck just because you, have, you, have the, you want to spend a lot of money and build a big space. You want to think about how you'll use it. We have outdoor rooms. We're using the design um, trend of bringing indoors out. So we have outdoor living spaces that are kind of outdoor rooms, an outdoor kitchen that's in its own outdoor room, an outdoor dining space, conversation places, a screen porch, all sort of have a different purpose and work with our design. And the deck is not enormous. It's sized optimally for the things that we wanted to do with it. So w design can really affect how much a deck costs, and that's something you can do if you just spend some time working at it. Now, on our deck, um, this deck is 12 years old now, so we've had to maintain it every few years, and I was going to say that's one really important thing. Once you build something, every few years you want to clean and, uh, and put a new waterproofing stain on. We've used um, a product called... Thompson's Water Seal Penetrating Timber Oil um, that's actually uh, at uh, the Home Depot right now. That product's available there. Um, but there are so many other things you can do um, in terms of your aesthetic sense to make a great outdoor oasis without spending a lot of money. We like to use, for example, found objects. So I've got these uh, pine cones from a hike we did uh, from Ponderosa Pines in the southwest. Here's a stone that came out of a stream. We call it the brain stone because it's got a really interesting shape. But you put that in a, a thrift store basket that was maybe a dollar and, uh, and you've got a great uh, conversation piece, a great piece of, it's a great piece of the aesthetics of, uh, of your deck. You can do that with all kinds of things. Inexpensive lighting. You know, there's so many great outdoor lighting products now. This is an LED light uh, with a couple of batteries in it. You can hang this from a pergola and really, or, or say, use uh, string lighting. And uh, that will really add some ambiance to your outdoor space in the evening. People don't think about sound very much, but these days, an inexpensive Bluetooth speaker, and you could stream, say, a really cool... Um, a really cool uh, channel on, on, on one of the streaming services, pick one of your favorite artists or pick a really interesting artist like uh, the Buena Vista, Buena Vista Social Club. They do Cuban music. You put that on your, your Pandora or whatever and stream that in the evening. You get all kinds of interesting Cuban music. You can really set a mood. So sound is important too. But then aside from the aesthetics, you can also use your brawn, your muscles, to do some do-it-yourself stuff that will really change your outdoor space. I just recently bought um, 36 of these $2.25 pavers and used it to build an outdoor fire pit. I put my wood Adirondack chairs around it, and we've got a new outdoor room where we spend time as a family just enjoying the outdoors. Um, okay, we've used it a lot already this spring, and I just built it. Um, and part of that do-it-yourself that can save you a lot of money, as I said, is maintaining the surfaces, especially wood surfaces in your backyard. And that means every few years you're going to clean them, and then you're going to coat them with some kind of waterproof or waterproofing stain. And by cleaning, I don't mean pressure washer necessarily. What you do is you take an off-the-shelf cleaner, um, deck cleaner, you put it in a pump-up garden sprayer, you spray it on a, a section that you can work maybe five feet by five feet, and you let that sit for 10, 15 minutes. That cleaner works at the surface to kill back, kill all the mold, mildew, um, loosen the leftover stain, and then you scrub it with a stiff bristled brush, a plastic brush, and then hose it down really well with a garden hose. That's, then the surface is prepared. Once it's dried, you can choose your stain. Um, the Thompson's Water Seal Penetrating Timber Oil that we can get at the Home Depot, it comes in five different colors. Uh, we've used several different colors on, different colors on the furniture, uh, different colors on the deck, 
um, to really kind of bring out different aspects of our deck. But you want to wait 48 hours, you let the deck dry, and then you can apply that stain. Uh, I like to use this. This is a paint pad. So I use a, a pan of paint or a paint, pan of uh, the waterproofing stain. And this is a one coat product, which makes it you know, really easy to use. And I just have to get one good coat on with this. I put this on a, on a pole to save my, save my back. But that one coat will, will beautify the deck so you have beautiful color, but it'll also protect the wood from water damage and uh, UV damage. And, and that's really all you have to do. My deck, about 400 square feet of surface area, it takes about four to six hours for me to, to clean it and another hour and a half for me to get my one coat of uh, waterproofing stain on there, the, of the timber oil, penetrating timber oil. Um, and and I'm, I'm done for a few years. Um, and that whole project, tools, uh, tools, cleaner, and stain combined is under $150. So it's, it's a doable project and it's not that expensive to do. Well, it sounds very cost effective and it sounds absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to get the video to see it. Um, you can go to thompsonswaterseal.com and you can check out all of the videos uh, that I give, the do-it-yourself videos, that, where I break down the steps and make it very easy to do. And also you should check out Thompson's Water Seal at Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, and uh, Instagram for design ideas that will really get like your creative juices flowing as you design your outdoor space. I was going to ask you, what is one of the most popular stain colors? Some of the most popular stain colors? Well, right here I'm using a cedar color. Um, but I think that I would say uh, I've got redwood on my deck, which is a nice deep red color. Uh, I have a cedar deck, and it's older. Like I said, it's 12 years old. So getting a little bit of color onto it kind of evens out the, the, you know, the, the older boards to the newer boards kind of thing. Um, but I would, say, uh, I would say that the, the teak, the redwood, and the cedar are some of the most popular colors. And do you have any additional tips and information to share with us? Yeah, uh, more information can be found at thompsonswaterseal.com, uh, along with those videos I talked about and the design ideas at all the social media uh, uh, with Thompson's Water Seal. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me today. Have a great afternoon. You too. You're quite welcome, Candace. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.